Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back if you've been here before. We have so much happening in today's video. My house is pretty big mess if you haven't noticed. So get your to-do list together, get some cleaning motivation. Let's get this done together. You guys throw me up on your tablet or on your phone and let's clean this up together. So just to introduce myself really quick to anybody that might be new here, my name is Karina and this is my channel, Karina Cleans. I am a wife to my husband, Jeremy, and I am also a mother to my almost three-year-old son, Remington, who happens to be autistic. And I am just your basic stay-at-home mom trying to hold it all together here. I am alerting as I go and just trying to stay afloat. And I also have to do some book surgery there on that book. My son really, really loves to turn pages of books. He'll do that for hours for hours all right let me stop talking and let you enjoy some music So we are officially at 500 subscribers. I am so, so, so excited and I am so grateful for every single one of you who have supported me from the very beginning. I want to express my gratitude for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And if you want to join my community here on YouTube, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. I am also doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So once this channel hits 1,000 subscribers, subscribers I will be doing a giveaway if you want more details on that I will have it linked down in the description below
So this is what a typical everyday nightly clean with me would look like. And this is as realistic as it gets. Like I am doing the basics. I am just picking up, wiping down, vacuuming. And honestly, I'm only vacuuming like the couches and the dog bed. Uh, and I send out my robo rock to do the floor that night. Um, I am just too tired at this time of night. It's typically around nine o'clock when I start picking up down here and it normally takes me around an hour to do all three rooms and that's not including anything past you know the baby and dog gate which is right there behind me in the dining room it splits like the back door and the dining room in half so I typically only clean the dining room the living room and the kitchen like every single night those are the three rooms that I make sure get at least the basics and the rest of the house, to be honest with you, I get to that when I can. I am not super mom. <laughs> I have a lot on my plate with Remy's schedule. Um, he's got therapy probably five, day five days a week. Uh, all in different times. And it's so weird because they're only about 30 minutes a piece because it's really all that... Um, a child that age with uh, ASD has like the attention span for is around 30 to 35 minutes so all of his sessions are only 30 minutes so I'll drive 15 minutes to do a 30 minute session to drive 15 minutes home so you know it does take up a large chunk of time because I have to get him ready I have to mentally prepare him like tell him we're going in the truck we're gonna put on our shoes get in the truck go see you know yada 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 whoever the therapist is or teacher that is for that day so you know there's like a whole process to it so you know I get to the rest of the house whenever I can is basically what I'm trying to say. I'm getting too off course here. <laughs> Am I the only one that feels like they're always doing dishes? I swear I do at least three or four loads of dishes every single day and then still am washing some dishes by hand. I don't understand. Like, where do they come from? This is why I don't like to cook because I don't like doing the dishes that come along with cooking and unfortunately I do like cooking I just don't like cleaning 
up after cooking. Can anyone else relate? I know this is like a weird thing to say because I literally have a cleaning YouTube channel, but if there's one thing I don't like doing, it's dishes. I have to admit, I don't like doing the dishes. I would literally rather vacuum and mop the floors like 12,000 times over before doing the dishes. And I have gotten a lot better with not avoiding doing the dishes. So I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that. So <laughs> if there's anyone else that hates doing the dishes, this is your reminder. Just do it, just do it. Just do it. It's only going to take you five minutes to load the dishwasher. That's it. That's all you have to do. So I already have like a pretty solid organizational system set up underneath my kitchen sink that really works for me and it works well. Um, I do intend on putting some labels on these bins and unfortunately I ran out of black vinyl so I will just have to put that in Sunday's video so for now I'm just gonna be stocking and you know cleaning up underneath the sink here and I will have all of the stuff that I have underneath here linked down below in the description or something extremely similar but again you really have to look at your own space and decide what's gonna work for your area. So I have never ever had the same organizational system from one house to the other. Like they're all set up different, you know? So you never know what you're going to get. So make sure you always take measurements of your area that you're trying to organize and 
try to organize and plan it out before going and buying a bunch of things because I have done that method before and let me tell you it gets expensive and it's also a hassle because you're returning things or you forget to return things and you know so on and so forth you just fall down a rabbit hole so my advice to you when you're trying to organize a new space is make sure you take measurements of the area and make sure that all of the bins and things that you're going to buy will fit in your space. That's the best advice that I can give you and also remember just because you organize something one time doesn't mean that you're not going to have to go back in and change things up because as it might be visually pleasing, it might not work in your everyday life. So you might have to change something that you thought was going to work and that's okay. That is totally okay. You keep tweaking and changing things until you find a system that truly works for you and your family and your household. So you guys, we are nearing the end of this video here, so I hope you guys enjoyed this relaxing nighttime clean with me. As always, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys so much. Bye! Bye.